So Rusty Bucket Bay was one of the final levels in Banjo-Kazooie. Being one of the later levels, it was pretty difficult. I actually tried recreating this level back in October in Super Mario Maker, but I actually never finished it though. So recently I've been replaying Banjo-Kazooie again, and it actually made me want to recreate another level from Banjo-Kazooie and Super Mario Maker. So instead of making a brand new level, I decided to go back and finish my Rusty Bucket Bay level. The level was actually about halfway finished. I finished the boat section, I just needed to go back and finish the rest of the level. So enough talking now, let's go start the level now. So I hid 10 one-up mushrooms in this level, which are supposed to be jiggies. One of those one-up mushrooms is actually unobtainable, but I'll talk about it once we get to it. So this is supposed to be the entrance of the world. Here we have some storage containers. I decided to use a Super Mario World theme, just because I thought it looked the best for this level. Here we have the bridge that leads to the boat. In my level, the bridge leads to the back of the boat. The pipes containing piranha plants are supposed to be the grimlit enemies. In Banjo-Kazooie, when you tried approaching these enemies, they tried biting you. And this right here is supposed to be the rareware flag, which was behind the boat. And this is the large structure that contained a witch switch on top. In my level, there isn't a witch switch on top, but there is a P-switch though. You need to go to the other side though, in order to get it. This is one of the boxes that's being held up by one of the cargo cranes. We'll get to the actual crane later on though. Just like in Banjo-Kazooie, the room containing this level's boss is actually blocked. You don't really need a P-switch to enter this room, you could just use a spin jump to break the blocks. Let's go fight Boss Boom Box now. And there it is. I didn't really know how to recreate this boss, so I decided to stack a bunch of bombs together. Defeating it is pretty easy though. Alright, so we got our first Jiggy in this level. We could also get some bonus items here too. Let's move on now. So the Hammer Brothers are supposed to be the Sailor enemies. I guess, heh. <laughs> so this is the area of the ship that contain all sorts of storage containers, as well as boxes. Alright cool, we got a Wonder Wing. So the giant Goombas on the wall are supposed to be the giant flotation ring enemies. This is the center of the ship by the way. It's the area where Banjo and Kazooie enter the boat by using the bridge from earlier in the actual game. If we enter one of the ship's rooms, we could find a Jiggy in here. Damn, this bed looks comfortable as hell. Whatever, let's continue on though. And here we have one of the ship's smokestacks. You could climb on top of it to find a Jiggy, just like in Banjo-Kazooie. Alright, cool, we got it. In Banjo-Kazooie, if you enter this room, it'll take you to the engine room. But due to Super Mario Maker's limits, I actually couldn't recreate the engine room. This door takes you to the right smokestacks instead. I couldn't make all the areas of this world, but oh well. And over here we have the whistle switches. Yeah, if you step on the switches, it'll make a noise. Let's go explore more of the inside of the boat. Let's see what we could find. Let me grab this P-Switch. I bet we'll be needing it in a bit. And this is the front of the boat. There's a Jiggy under this cage. This cage is being held up by one of the cranes. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, cool. We can move on now. So just like in Banjo-Kazooie, this ship contains a small boat being held up. So we're finished with the ship area of this world. Let's go explore the rest now. So we're now at the right of the entrance. Here we have some more storage containers. So just like in Banjo-Kazooie, we need to make a bridge appear so we could get to the other side. These are the enemies in Banjo-Kazooie that would chomp at you if you pass by the hole on their wall. So just like in Banjo-Kazooie, when you defeat these enemies, they scream in pain. So just like in Banjo-Kazooie, the first bridge leads to a warehouse. Banjo and Kazooie had to enter the warehouse by entering through the roof. We can't enter it in my level though. Watch out for Snack of the Shark, he'll try to bite you. So just like in the original game, two warehouses are connected by a fence. So under the fence, there's a yellow boy with a flag containing a yellow Jinjo. And over here is a small pool containing acid. We have to be very careful crossing it, it's very dangerous. Alright, made it. Let me get rid of this boombox enemy. So this is one of the two cranes from earlier. One was holding a box and the other a cage containing a jiggy. In order to get on top of the crane, we need to use a shock spring pad to get on top, just like in Banjo Kazooie. The question blocks are supposed to be the switches that move the crane either up or down. Alright, cool. We found another jiggy. Let me try to grab that checkpoint flag. Alright, cool. Let's continue on now. And over here we have the three giant storage containers, which Banjo and Kazooie could enter. If you enter the left container, I'll take you to the top of the middle one though. In my level, you could only enter the right container. This room is loosely based off of the battle room, where you had to battle a bunch of boom boxes. To the left, you can see outside of the container, you can see the middle container from here. Let me reset the timer, since we're almost out of time. In my level, this is mostly a bonus room. You can find a bunch of useful items on top. I was originally going to add a Yoshi here too, but Yoshi kind of breaks my level, so I decided to keep him out of it. This is supposed to be a crate by the way. So just like in the original game, the later bridges start getting all funky. And here's the second crane. Let's climb on top of it to get another Jiggy. Alright, cool. Let's continue on now. We're almost finished with this level. Here's the final bridge of this level. This last area contains a bunch of enemies from earlier as well as a Jinjo at the end. I had to shorten this area just because I was almost out of space. It doesn't really matter though because this area wasn't that important. So we could see the ship from over here. You could even see the flag I mentioned earlier. At the bottom right, you could see the ship's propellers which contain a jiggy in the original game. In my level you can't actually grab that jiggy. It's a reference to when I was younger. I could never get that jiggy. It was always a pain for me, so I always skipped it. The engine room to stop them was just a pain in the butt. And this is the left of the entrance. There was a Jinjo under here, but you had to swim to get it. So if we make our way to the right, we'll be back at the entrance.
And that was basically it. If you want to download or play my level, just enter the code shown on screen right now. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.